Yo people, I'm back. This is a this is a Spurs preview. Spurs Newcastle preview. I'm not sure if you missed it or you live under a rock, but if you want the the detailed version of this with knowledgeable guests, knowledgeable pundits and two special guests, both Newcastle fans, big up Fordy, Clinton Ford, Geordie's down south, big up Kendall as well, Kendall Rowan. Check out their YouTube channels. Check out Touchline Fracker. Um, we did a collab today with Spurs, the um, Touchline Hotspur podcast. That episode is out now on YouTube. So check that out for a detailed view of what I'm about to give you now. But I'm going to keep this short and sweet because I like to keep it short and sweet when I do these pre-recorded um, previews. We have to pile on the misery. And I know misery needs company. We've had a lot of misery the last couple of weeks but the last time I appeared on my channel talking Spurs yeah about a specific game we'd won 2-0 we had got a 2-0 win to put a, a positive end to what was an otherwise abysmal two-week period for us and the international break is done now and it's back to business for me I don't expect we're going to finish top four I don't I don't trust this manager, I don't trust the, the, the squad, but I I damn sure expect that these players are gonna fight to try and get to the top four when you look at the at the gap that is between us and fourth spot, which is three points. Yeah? We have a pretty tough running coming up. After this Newcastle game, we have Man United at home, we then have Everton away. And we then have another midweek game. I can't remember who we who we play midweek. And then after that, we play Man City. So, listen, there's no rest for the wicked. We may be out of the Europa League. We may be out of the FA Cup. But the games are all of a sudden going to come uh, thick and fast. I know we're only going to have to play one game a week. But there's going to be a period where we're going to play two games a week for that midweek game I just mentioned. And I just feel like now... It's now and ever with this team. Like, you've you've you fell down so many times this season since that December period that like it's literally now and ever. You have to click into gear. You really do. Because if you really want top four, it's potentially attainable. But you just can't trust these individuals. So it's it's gonna be down to a case of whether they want it enough. And whether enough fortune goes our way. But we have to fight for it. We have to. Absolutely we have to fight for it. And there's no better place to start than Newcastle. This is a ground that we've we've won um, uh, consecutively for our past, our past three appearances. Everyone remembers that disaster class performance, the 5-1. Um, under Pochettino where we finished third in the two horse race, whatever. All that stupid nonsense. But since then... Since they got promoted, 2-0 win in 17-18, 2-1 win in eighteen nineteen, 2-1 win in eighteen nineteen, yeah, 3-1 win in nineteen twenty. What's it going to be this time? It needs to be another win. That's what it should be. It needs to be another win. Yeah, I'm sorry. I've said it a billion times, but I'm going to say it again. If we cannot beat this Newcastle side across both attempts this season, that is an absolute disgrace. Because let's be honest, the home fixture should have been out of sight before half-time. We were one up, but it should have been 2-3, even 4-0. Second half, we defended well and could have even scored another goal there as well. But there was no way on earth Newcastle should have snatched a point out of that game. And yet, a stupid bogus handball gave them a point that, let's be real, they didn't deserve. And this time around, they're coming back with some some... Um, some good injury news as well. Saint Maximan back in training. I think he's in contention to play. Callum Wilson, the little prick that was celebrating, smiling, grinning it off at that penalty. No decorum, no honour. He's back as well. But let them both play. Let them both play. We have enough to beat them. We do. I meant what I said in my um, previous post-match stream against Aston Villa as well. For me, two or three players have already stacked their names to, to start. And one of them is Jaffa Tanganga. He has to play. I want to see him at right back. 
especially if um, Alan um, Saint Maximan is playing. I want to see Tanganga start at right back. I don't have no issue against Ori, but I would just like to see him retain a spot and get some game time and start prioritizing some of the players that look like they're going to be here long term. Joe Rodon, great block. We all saw his block against. Um, I can't remember who they played Czech Republic on the weekend or midweek. Sorry, well, it was crucial one 0 win. I think he's under spot to start. So those two non negotiables for me. And then I said Vinny. Vinny needs to play as well, but. We've all seen the news. Son's back in training. And let's be real, if you're any manager in world football, let alone Jose Mourinho, who literally exhausts the heck out of Son and Kane when he can, if you have the opportunity to play both and you want to win a game, you're not really going to rest them, are you? But uh, it's an interesting one. I think Vinny, for me, he's earned the right to start again. But listen, as I said, the game's not based on sympathy. I've said that a million times. I would start Vinny, but I would totally understand if Son's playing because Son is literally our second best attacker and he's a match winner. So you want him on the pitch as much as possible. Either way, whatever lineup he picks, we have to win. I explained the importance of why a win is significant um, in this race for top four when you actually look at the fixtures we've got coming up because let's be real, after Newcastle, we're going to start playing teams around us and... I don't really fancy Spurs picking up maximum points against some of those teams. But this is a game where we have to be getting three points. We just have to. We just have to. I'm trying to get Newcastle's form. Newcastle's form right now. But they're, they're dire. They're absolutely dire. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure their last Premier League match. Um, did they get touched 3-0 by Brighton or something? I can't remember. Yeah. The last Premier League match on the 20th of March, they got touched 3-0 by Brighton. They have won one match in their last 1-2-3-4. They've won one in eight. One in eight. They've lost to Crystal Palace at home. They've drawn to Wolves at home. They've drawn, they drew to Villa at home, fair enough. Villa is not a bad draw. They beat Southampton 3-2, um, despite going out to 10-2. That was a bit of a, res a resilient performance from them. But honestly, I could go on and on and on about oh, the threat that Newcastle pose because they do pose some semblance of a threat. But honestly, it will be, as I said, a catastrophe if we can't get a win against this Newcastle side this season. They already snuck out of losing to us at our ground. God was on their side that day. Please, we need to punish them at the St. James Park or the SDA, whatever they want to call that stadium. We need to punish them. This is not a good side. And this isn't me blowing my own horn about Spurs. I'm well aware of how bad Tottenham are. I'm well aware. We can be terrible. We've lost to Brighton. We've drawn to Wolves. We've drawn to, to Fulham at home. We've got slapped 3-0 by Zagreb. This is not me waxing lyrical about how great Spurs are. This is me expecting that this Spurs team are clearly better than this Newcastle team and if we're serious about staying in this race for top four we go to this ground and we get the job done just like we did against Aston Villa yeah so I don't really need to sell this game more to these players get your head back into the game every game is a final now just because I don't think we're going to get top four doesn't mean you can't try to get top four you have to try We've literally got nothing else to play for apart from the League Cup final. So we have to try. And every single point matters. So in a game like this, you have to be winning. You have to be winning. Newcastle, they are diabolical. They're dire. The way their fans, the way their own fans talk about them, we have to beat them. There's no excuses. I don't care about all this humble thing. It's not even arrogance. We have to beat them. They're not good. They're not a good side. And yes, whilst we may not be the best side, we are better than Newcastle and we need to show it. We need to show it on the weekend. No excuses. I'm going to end this video on that. No excuses. Get the job done and pile the misery on these Geordies. Me personally, I want Fulham to stay up. So I have double incentive for us to win here. I want us to win and get closer to the top four. And I want them pushed down into the relegation zone because 
by all accounts, they don't deserve to be a Premier League team based on what we've seen this season. So, Spurs, win, do your job, and it's on to the next one.